How to configure VPN on Wagia Cloud Site-to-site -site VPN and client-to-site VPN can be configured on Wagia Cloud. Site-to-site -site VPN is often used in scenarios where internal confidential data is sent between the headquarters and branches due to business needs. To ensure the security of data transmission on the internet, a VPN tunnel needs to be established between the two LANs. On Wagia Cloud, Site-to-Site -site VPN must be implemented through IPsec VPN. Client-to-Site -site VPN is often used when employees, customers, on business trips access the internal network of the headquarters through the internet, transmit data to the headquarters, and access the internal server. To ensure the security of data transmission, a VPN tunnel can be established between the client and the enterprise gateway. On Wagia Cloud, client-to-site VPN must be implemented through PPTP, L2TP, L2TP over IPsec VPN or OpenVPN. This video introduces how client-to-site VPN is implemented through L2TP. For details about VPN configuration, see Wagia Cloud Cookbook 7.0 on the official website and enter keywords for search. Access the official website of Ruegia Cloud. Enter the username and password for login. Select the target project on the home page. Choose configuration and click devices. Then, choose gateway and click VPN. Click the VPN tab. Then, click add VPN policy. Configure the parameters of the VPN policy. Set the status to enable. Enter an easily recognizable policy name in the Remark input box. You can also use the default name, which may vary based on the selected scenario and VPN type. Set purpose to client-to-site VPN. Set the VPN mode to a protocol for implementation of the VPN, such as L2TP. Set HQ1 to an interface of the HQ gateway for VPN setup. Enter the server IP address or domain name for virtual IP assignment in the server IP slash domain input box. The default value is the interface IP address of HQ1 or the domain name of ReEDDNS. Configure a VPN tunnel IP address in the local tunnel IP input box. After dialing in, the client can access the web page of the HQ gateway through this address. Set the IP addresses assigned by the server to clients in the IP pool input box. The IP range cannot conflict with local tunnel IP. Expand advance to set advanced parameters or keep the default settings. Click add. Click the VPN account tab. Then, click add VPN account. Enter the username and password. For example, the username is user1 and the password is admin123. Click Add. After the account is created, use this account on the client to dial into the headquarters. Log into the client. Find the network connection icon in the lower right corner of the PC. Click and select network and internet settings. Select VPN and click Add VPN. Configure the parameters on the Add a VPN connection page. Set an easily recognizable name in the connection name input box. Enter the server name and address in the server name or address input box. Select L2TP slash IPsec with certificate in the VPN type input box. Enter the username and password, user1 and admin123 in this example in the type of sign-in info input box. Click Save. Choose Control Panel, View Network Status and Task, and Change Adapter Settings to find the newly created Virtual NIC. Right-click Properties and choose Security. Change the configuration as shown in the following figure. Right-click the created VPN. Select Connect.
Click the VPN Online User tab to view online VPN users. The system displays user 1, indicating that the VPN between the client and the HQ gateway is successfully created. To follow this issue, comment on our video or send an email to us. See you in the next video.